All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tank Kramer. I am with Brand Man Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we're gonna check out the brand new trailer we got to, earlier today. The Mufasa prequel, Mufasa the Lion King. Um, yeah, I don't think it, I have. But I haven't seen it. Did you guys say you saw it? I know. Just... Yeah, I, I saw it on Good Morning America. This oh morning. no, you did. Eating breakfast. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's yeah, right. Look, so, um, look right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Wrong. Wrong, uh, wrong one. Wrong one. Sorry. Before that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, but yeah, let's check it out, man. I'm kind of curious to see uh, see what this one's about. All right, here we so, go. Let's let see. Go. This story begins far beyond the mountains and the shadows. On the other side of the light. A lion was born without a drop of nobility in his blood. A lion who would change our lives forever. The earth will shake destiny awaits you. Seth Rogen? <laughs> it's a Donald Glover? Wait, 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 wait. Lin Manuel Miranda, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Brian, we are getting twice the Beyonce this time. Oh, you're getting Beyonce and mini Beyonce. Oh, oh wow. That's interesting. <laughs> you know, I was about to say some positive stuff right now, and now I'm not going to mm -hmm. say nothing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say here. Well, I, I was, I, I was, it was, it was already a big wad of nope for me anyway. Um, and and then when I saw that, that that made me nope even harder. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm I mean, good. This one, I mean, it's a direct prequel to the live action Lion King. Not you know, I mean, even though that one is. You know, an adaptation of the the cartoon. Mm -hmm. You know, but seeing like, I mean, I don't know. I saw Donald Glover. I saw Seth Rogen. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I saw people that voice characters from the f the first live action. Well, I was yeah, quote unquote live action. It was all CGI too. But yeah, yeah it was just photo real CG. No, I was reading something earlier that said this is actually going to be told. Um, it's going to like. Some of it's going to take place after the after the um, twenty nineteen movie, and this is going to be Rafiki like telling the story of Mufasa to uh, Simba and Nala's to Kiara, Sim, Simba and Nala's daughter, daughter, mm -hmm. who presumably uh, Beyonce Junior is going to going to voice. Um. So and, and then it's going to have like Timon and yeah Timon and Pumbaa kind of like chiming in from time to time based on the footage that was um, shown at at CinemaCon. But um, okay. you know, I just I I didn't like the 2019 movie. Um, it just didn't do anything for me. Um, I'm not enthused about this. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, no amount no amount of money shots in the trailer is gonna is gonna um is gonna sway me. Plus, it comes out the same day as Sonic Three. I'll just, I'll just see that twice. <laughs> I, I'll go before Brian because I'll, I'll let Brian go on, go on his rant. Um, I'm a little bit more excited. I the voices kind of put me off because I, I didn't like it, but also it's a sequel to that, so I'm not mm -hmm. too like shocked. Like, oh my, seeing seeing Beyonce's daughter, 
um you know with blue ivy coming in and doing it and i was like eh, oh, okay, yeah I that, guess. nipple baby yeah and you know she kind of you know beyonce's voice acting even was it was enough in in the um in the last one it just mm. made the movie a movie that i didn't even like more or less insufferable yeah um <laughs> so you know i can only imagine what you know now we have Beyonce Jr. Uh, coming yeah. coming in, so I can only imagine how insufferable that that's that's gonna that's gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> I would say the director. I I really like the director, um, mm-hmm. and at, at the end, um, I saw uh, music by Lin Manuel Miranda, which mm-hmm. I mean that dude writes the be- the best Disney music. I mean, there, there's mm-hmm. no arguing that. I mean, the the only other person to write better Disney music was probably the guy who wrote the original soundtrack for The Lion King. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have that mix in with Lin Manuel Miranda. At least I I I think the music is gonna be good. Yeah. You know? So mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not I'm still I'm I I feel the same. Like I'm not more hyped, but I'm not less. Like I'm not put off completely by it. I'm still kind of like, okay, whatever, you know. Like I still feel the same, but it's also a teaser, so we really didn't get too much. But you know, visually, I thought it looks the same as the 2019 one. You know, I, mm-hmm. I don't, I didn't see anything there. I'm like, oh, they they did this so much better this time. It looked exactly the same visually. So yeah, we're st- yeah. we're still getting you know photorealistic animals who can't who can't emote. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm good. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a full pass yet, but I'm not uh, mm-hmm. like hyped at either. I'm just like, okay, yeah. we'll see. The last one, the last one was enough for me to, to be like, no, I'm okay. Yeah. I have, I have, an, I have enough to go on just from the last one. So yeah. I don't know who they think. Before. But the director, man, was it Barry? Uh, what was his name? Barry something. Um, Barry Jenkins. Barry Jenkins, like mm-hmm. he's a good director. So is Sean Favreau. You know, <laughs> <Does he> know? <laughs> <laughs> like he does cool shit, but he's not like I don't know if he's like a great director. Mm-hmm. Like he's not. Is he? He's not you an know. Academy Award winning director, is he? I don't think he is. No, he's not. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he won any Academy Award. Like, like you know, Barry Jenkins is Academy Award winning. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, no, they they man they managed right, to right. get they managed to get good directors for these Disney remakes all the time. You know, um, um, yeah. no, they're not going to fool me. They're not going to get me. <laughs> all right, Brian. All right. Okay. Let you hear. It. Um. First, I will say. The first time I see Mufasa and the idea of Mufa- Mufasa movie, uh, mm-hmm. I did feel chills because Mufasa just carries a very strong, just the name, the idea of who he is and what he is, is huge to me. Huge. Like, like I, I, I love the idea of Mufasa and seeing how close he is to how Simba was and understanding why why Simba was who he was because you usually the apple doesn't far, fall too far from the tree. And seeing what that tree is and how he became, you know, became this king from there. I love the idea of it. Um I have to say Beyonce, I'm not even mad at Beyonce's acting or any of that stuff. Because I, I don't think she's a great actor. I don't I'm not mad at the, any of that. I don't think she, she's so bad. Yeah, but I don't think that was the problem. I had the problem with them changing the story to fit her. Mm-hmm. That's what made me angry. Why would you do mm-hmm. that to a classic? Once again, change the story because of what happened. You know, but if they don't do that, you know, this is not this is a prequel, so you're really not changing the story, and you don't try to point like a neon signs like "Look at me, look at me, look at me." The movie says Mufasa, but "Look at me, look at me." Then I won't be mad, you know. Like mm-hmm. that, that wouldn't bother me so much. Am I shocked by it? Yeah, Shock Blue Ivy is getting a feature in the movie before you learn how to do any of this stuff. Yeah, voiceover work that did shock me, you know. But 
when your mama mama makes six hundred million dollars and your daddy's a billionaire, eh? I guess so. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I mean, that's just how things work. Um, this trailer overall, I don't know nothing. I feel like I don't know mm-hmm. anything, but I know the Mufasa is the strongest name you could ever say. Like you should. It's like it's like what the hyena said. Mufasa, woo, do it again. <laughs> Mufasa, ooh. Like yeah, that's that's what it is. So until I see a real trailer, I'm not going to be mm-hmm. negative or positive. But I am worrisome. Yeah, if that makes but sense. But we were you were. I mean, we were all like that <laughs> as soon as we heard about this movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. One thing I I thought I heard was, uh, I think it was Rafiki was talking, where he's like, oh, mm-hmm. who didn't have an ounce of nobility. Nobility. So I was like, you know, oh. noble blood in him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Didn't, didn't they always. From a family line? Yeah. Didn't they always hit at the royal lineage or mention yes. the royal lineage in, in other iterations? So why are they doing this generic bullshit? He came from nothing, and Rosa. Yeah. What do you, what do you do? Now he's here, but even though he says my father and your father before him, we've all like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Look at this, the great kings in the sky, and you know, like, yeah. okay. Well, because isn't that why Scar was upset? Was because he they was never going to be king. Yep. You know, because he's the younger brother. You know, yep. or something like that. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought that was kind of weird. So, you know, unless he just means like he wasn't noble, as in like he he was a yeah, like being a, a snot nosed kid rather than being a noble like prince. I don't know. Maybe that's what they might be le- like talking about mentioning, but it doesn't seem like it. See, it seems like they're gonna go the route of he was a nobody and then he became the greatest of all of us kind of thing. That's what it, it seems be, like. It could be yeah. something as simple as saying that like, he ran away from home. Didn't know that he was mm-hmm. actually from this pride, and then they find find out that yeah, you were always meant to be king because he did something heroic, mm-hmm. and then they kind of find figure it out, and he was always yeah. become supposed to be that. If you go that route, I won't be as angry. I'm sure the real trailer is going to make me be very upset, but as of right <laughs> now, I'm not. I'm just gonna wait. That's a teaser, you know. I, I mm-hmm. that's that's my only concern is is the whole. Where is he from? Kind of aspect of it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I, lear- I learned my lesson with the last one because the last one was just trash. I'm like, why would I waste my time? Hey, well, you yeah, fool me twice. I'm, me. <laughs> like I'm gonna like I'm gonna go and just be a glutton for punishment willfully <laughs> and pay more money for this crap. 